Hey guys, Athena here. So we've got another video today. This one's covering Diarmal North. This is, I believe, an 8 minute 56 seconds. We're running with a different group. We're running with the Scuff Boys and Depression Cutie. So me, I'm an MF uh, MFB Mana Forge Barrier Tank. We've got um, IG on Mana Fiend. We've got Chicken on Pop. Galactic is playing Demon of Warden Reach. Depression Cutie is playing uh, Battle Mage. Uh, and as I was saying, you guys see there, we skip past all the Hyena packs. We grab the guard. We pull the beetles. The beetles are very important. They're a high percentage amount for this pull. So we go. We kill all the beetles. The beetles are dead. Now we're going to bring the boss over. We're going to pull the next set. So the boss here, the important thing is, is we want to pull these mages, kill the mages, and we're going to pull Stomper as well. I go to try and grab them. I have like super short range. I ask for someone else to go pull. So we do have someone else come here. Okay, perfect. We pull them in. The most important thing here that you got to keep in mind though, is that the, the other guard, not Stomper, has healing. So you need to make sure your DPS are focusing him and get him killed as soon as possible. Otherwise, he can slowly sustain if you're just cleaving. Now that we've cleared that, we're just going to keep moving. We're going to pull the ogre pack on the left and the two ogre packs in front of us. Try and help cleave, be a little more productive as we're pulling. Now, one thing to keep in mind on this one here is you can notice now that we've sort of got this debuff on us that's counting down. That blinds us and makes us miss. We can't hit anything right now. It's very important that you have someone dispel this off your tank. As if you're trying to do these chain pulls like this, you're going to have problems. Because you're going to notice here in a moment, I'm going to have major threat issues here. Because I can't hit a single target. I'm just missing everything. So I can't grab. And right here pretty clean we've got one boss left i'm missing i can't list, hit anything galactic takes threat and i can't get threat back so galactic actually ends up dying here which is a little unfortunate but that's okay we still keep moving on and we keep pressing forward now you might notice that my model is talking that is not synced up with me the reason for this is this is actually streamed live on my twitch at athena kai games so if you're interested in watching me do these kind of runs live, I do stream there almost every day. So we're moving on. Galactic we was bugged. We Basically, two of our people have battle reses, and neither of them could cast on him for some reason. So we have him running back. Now, we pull the next guard. You want to grab the brutes here that are pack walking as well, but you don't want to grab them too early. If you grab them too early, it'll pull the mages and you don't need the mages. Now we're grabbing all of the orcs and dogs on these sides. The main reason is just more cleave with the boss and they're easier to kill. These mobs are very easy. They stack nicely and we can kill them. Now <laughs> IG gets a little mad here that we're moving the boss because I'm dropping our damage output by moving. However, technically, if you have two DPSs, just get them to go left and right, grab the packs, meet up in the middle, kill them, and you're done. For your healers, healers, when the packs are all dead and you've just got the boss left, you can, if as long as you're comfortable with your tank and they're not taking much damage, which with this boss, most times, as long as the whirlwind has already happened, you're probably not taking too much damage. You can just open the doorway. Which we'll notice as soon as we kill this here that that chicken will end up due for us. The good news with Dire Mall North is, is that you want to have a lot of single target damage. As you're kind of noticing, yes, we have these like controlled packs where there's a decent enough cleave for AoE. But a lot of it is just boss killing, right? We had two bosses with a little bit of cleave. We have one boss with a little bit of cleave. Now, there's not going to be many packs when we're running through this. So bringing more single target into this dungeon is definitely more favorable. You could probably get away with, like, if we had a perfect comp here, we'd probably end up running two Demon Reach Wardens and then one AoE DPS. As you really just want boss burn. 
So this is the trickiest part of the dungeon. We got to start dealing with eyes. We pull the warlock. We start doing damage. I bring forward more. I want to pull the beetles into our group. So I horn. Beetles start coming up. We'll cleave these all together. Chicken is actually running full aspect of the pack, which is huge. This lets us run super quick. We're going to speed on through. Now, keep everything... Watch out for the eye on the right there. The wandering eye can be problematic. This part's not too much of a worry, though. We grab these mobs. We are skipping as much as possible now. All those pulls that we did at the beginning are allowing us to skip these, okay? The reason, the reason why we're skipping so much of this is that warlocks take forever because you can't have the tank keep running while there's warlocks being spawned because they'll cast from a distance. They'll also cast banish, which makes it waste more time because you can't dispel it. And they just don't give a whole lot of percentage. So they're, they're just a huge time sink. So we go between them, we grab the Wandering Eye. Heck, I don't know if Invis Potions work on these packs, but if you could Invis Potion this after you kill that Eye, I even would suggest Invis Potioning. You really don't need these Warlocks. They're just, they're just a waste of time. Like you notice here, I'm just making sure that the Warlock is not a problem, and then I'm moving on. So here we have Chicken with Lockpick. So we're going to have Chicken or Healer open the door. These mobs don't hurt. So I trigger the eye, I trigger these two, and I start taking them away. Chicken will run straight to the door. In the next room, there is a certain mechanic that's pretty interesting. So we're skipping the captain. We don't need to kill the captain. The reason for this is because the final boss counts as two. And here, we're going to have a pack. Now, normally, if you don't have this, you have someone that you kill, you pull these packs, you run to the right, and you sneak past the captain. However chicken in our group has the ogre outfit so what we did is we waited for combat to end he's turned on the ogre outfit i start off make sure the warlock's dead we're bursting it that was the call warlock is dead he has talked to the captain and has made the captain disappear now because of that we can run straight beeline to the final boss now I also informed everyone to not waste time here. So I am just running straight. We got days because of aspect of the pack, which is a little unfortunate. I'm trying to just go as fast as I can. I keep getting days though, because someone leaves pack on, which is a little unfortunate, but it's okay. I aggro the boss and we're on the final pull. We're just doing some cleaving, trying to get the kills down. And you'll notice my percentage is actually a little bit over. So we're at 100% at the final kill. We could have probably skipped a single pack and been perfectly fine. If we didn't lose Galactic on the boss kill, the Stomper, I think we could have saved a lot more time because it took quite a bit for us to kill the other boss. Overall, though, I think the group performed really well. This was a great key. Good example of a lot of the things that you want to keep an eye on in North. I think this is probably one of the best short keys. The problem with North most times is not the difficulty of the mobs. It's the eyeballs. The second someone gets caught by an eyeball, you can lose tons of time trying to run back and re-catch up with the group. So just be careful with that, and I think you'll go with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.